Happy Fragrant Friday, Fraghead. Hey everybody, this is Ben here at That Cologne Guy coming at you with a new review. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Happy Friday. And of course, I always enjoy welcoming you to your weekend. And as I always say, if it's not Friday while you're viewing this, here at TCG, oh, it is always Friday. We are in December, folks, which of course means for most people, it means the holidays. Of course, it means that here. But in addition, it is also Brian Appreciation Month. Uh, little did you know, because last week I reviewed a, a fragrance by Ford uh, that was sent to me by subscriber Brian, uh, and he was kind enough to send me uh, another fragrance uh, also by a car uh, company, and this one is Bentley. This is probably the closest I will ever come to Bentley. You know, the, uh, so there are two types of people that will smile when they hear Bentley. Uh, most people think of the luxury car company uh, from England, and then of course some uh, some of the younger crowd might like uh, the video that circulates where the little uh, there's a boy who has uh, I think it's a pug if I'm not mistaken, and he sets down a butterfly, <laughs> and the dog immediately uh, eats the butterfly, and and he starts screaming Bentley Bentley no. Uh, so some of you this will bring a smile to your face because of that video and other people it will be because of the luxury car company. Before I dive in on this review, let me quickly say since last Friday, yet again, my friends, we have had quite the explosion of new subscribers, subscribers, and I really, really appreciate that so very much. Uh, you can check out here my channel trailer. And bottom line is I have a five spray system for a, an individual review episode like this one. And at the end, I, have, I give a number out of five and then I put that number of sprays on me. And that is my scent of the day. Uh, I am uh, independent, of course, uh, not sponsored, I'm unbiased, and I enjoy giving my off the cuff, true critique of each fragrance that I review. I have so much fun chit chatting with you guys going back and forth. I really appreciate all the support and thank you very, very much. Let's dive in, shall we? So when it comes to Bentley Momentum Limit Unlimited, <clears throat> Unlimited, uh, this of course is a 3.4 ounce, 100 milliliter uh, bottle. And let's talk about the design of the bottle and the box and then I'll get to nomenclature. So when it comes to the box, you can see it is indeed quite shiny. In fact, it's making a rather dreary day look really, really sunny. Uh, and again, much like the Ford, uh, you can feel there's a, there's a grill-like quality here that they're trying to amplify the notion that this is a car company. If you don't know this, you didn't see last week's episode, uh, it's kind of a fad right now where uh, automobile companies are putting out their own fragrances. Uh, quite a, a, a lot have. Uh, I drive a Honda and I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident in saying Honda probably won't be coming out with one soon. But um, hey, if you ever wanted to get close to a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a Bentley, well now you can. It will just be a fragrance and not the actual car itself. So... <clears throat> That's the box. And then uh, this is the, again, uh, the notion of uh, chrome and shiny grill-like qualities here. Uh, it, it is, it, it does feel a little, a little cheap uh, when it comes to this area in the front. But I will say uh, that this is, the distributor here is uh, Lalique Beauty. So this is coming from Lalique. So when I say that, I, I, when I say it feels a little cheap, I mean it in the true sense of just a little bit. Now, uh, the cap is quite nice, uh, pops right off, and then the sprayer is, I would say, excellent. So here you go. Quite nice, and of course the room is now uh, filling up with this uh, wonderful fragrance. So, bottle is great. The batch code is 100, no, 104406D19. There you have it right there, the batch code. And I went and checked, and this is April 2019. So this is an April 2019 batch, and that is the batch code. So but that was interesting to me, though, of course. it was It's Bentley Fragrances, but um, it is distributed by 
uh, uh, Lalique Beauty. So for those of you, of us, who are Lalique fans, uh, good news abounds. So when it comes to nomenclature, like I said, uh, you can see here from the emblem, uh, most people think of Bentley luxury cars from England. Uh, I, of course, don't see too many of them and probably won't unless I watch a documentary on a soccer player or something and what he or she does uh, in their off in their free time. So there are a couple things going on in this fragrance uh, and I think the nose behind the fragrance is important here. That's not always the case. So when it comes to the, the nomenclature, I'll just quickly say again, Bentley Automobile, and then it's Momentum Unlimited. So of course, Momentum, everything geared towards, just like last week with the Ford Mustang, uh, performance geared towards a car terminology, sports, cars, luxury, etc. So Let's let's get into the actual the notes and the smell. So when I say that, I mean I'm going to talk about the notes a little bit. But quite frankly, this is another one of the fragrances that I mean we can talk about the individual notes, but it's more of an overall feel. So this is a 2018 uh, release, Woody Aromatic, uh, relatively new then, uh, and this is by uh, the Parfumé or nose is Michel Almarac. Uh, so, and that is A-L-M-A-I-R-A-C, Michel Almarac. Uh, and why is that important? Some of you uh, who remember the 80s uh, will know that that is the same perfume that did, oh yeah, what episode would be complete without mentioning Yop, Poor Homme, uh, which I put that last on probably about four years ago and I can still pick it up on my shirt yet today. So that is definitely one of my favorite beast mode fragrances. A lot of fun, just a fun fragrance. Unforgettable, even if you don't like that one. So he, uh, he gained uh, fame from that one and many others, uh, but that was one that jumped out. And then I think this is relevant because in terms of the actual smell itself, I feel like, so he did, he did not do chrome. And th this does smell a little bit like this. And so uh, it's almost like chrome without the quote unquote Windex note, which of course you guys who follow me every week know that I don't feel it, it smells at all like Windex in the first place. Um, the top notes in this are grapefruit, cardamom, and, in the, and green apple. So you're thinking, wait a minute, okay, this is really starting to get into the kind of 90s uh, freshy uh, element here, and we are. Here's what I think is happening. I think he took Chrome Sport because he did Chrome Sport. So Michel Almarac did not do Chrome Original, but he did do Chrome Sport. Um, and I feel like this smells a lot like the DNA in that. I can tell he was tinkering and going through his own notes from Chrome Sport, which I think was a 2010 release, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, I think it is. It's a flanker, obviously, to Chrome, one of my favorite fragrances, and just a fantastic one at that. Chrome Sport holds its own. Many people love Chrome Sport even more, especially those that uh, uh, dock some points on Chrome Original because it smells like Windex. So, so, so when you first, the initial blast is going to be cardamom, grapefruit and green apple. To me, the top notes really dominate and really um, give the best impression of this fragrance. And I'll mention a little bit uh, more about that in projection and longevity uh, in a little bit. So this, this is a shower gel fragrance. And, and here, here's what I think it smells. Well, let me talk about what the Parfumé had in mind as, as far as, right, uh, what I imagine he had in mind. I feel like he was asked to do a after shower, shower gel, um, freshy, updated from the 90s, right? The 90s were known for having just a, a ton of freshies. And I feel like I feel like Bentley uh, wanted him to, to do something along the lines of create an updated freshy, and I feel like he took the DNA from Chrome Sport, and I feel like he mixed it after that with something along the lines of 
Bulgari Blue. He didn't do that one, but it, it, I, I, as you know, I'm a big fan of that one. It has been discontinued, and I, and I definitely picked up some similarities. And then, of course, if you say Green Apple uh, and you hearken back to uh, probably, what, the late 90s, perhaps early 2000s, you are thinking of, indeed, Hugo Boss, or Hugo by Hugo Boss. So... Uh, it, it, it's it's a it's a it's an interesting combination because there is a connection to Hugo by Hugo Boss. There's also some Bulgari Blue, especially the shower gel I had. When I took off the cap, the first thing I thought of was the shower gel that I had of Bulgari Blue. That's what I thought of. Uh, it 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 evolves a little away from that, but I feel like this is a combination of Chrome Sport meets Hugo meets Bulgari Blue. So, of course, it's a freshie. It's definitely for the sh the shower gel crowd, and, and and you know a lot of reviewers are anti freshies, and I don't mind them at all. I in fact I quite like them. Um, here's the thing about freshies that you have to ask yourself if you're new to the fragrance uh, hobby. What you have to ask yourself is, do I want to step out of a shower and basically have a cologne that is merely an extension of that experience? So basically it's going to smell like my deodorant and it's going to smell like my shower gel or a bar of soap. And a lot of people, for a lot of people, the answer is yes. This is These are great fragrances to buy for guys who don't care about seasons, don't care about anything other than a really nice fragrance and probably just want to have one bottle. Right, so this is kind of the the for the the one bottle a year dudes. Uh, these are perfect um, fragrances because they do get a lot of compliments. A lot of frag snobs don't like these fragrances at all because they feel like they're not daring, and they feel like they're not trying to push the envelope at all in the industry. They're just simply trying to crank out something that will get compliments and doesn't cost too much. I. I, you know my my take. I like what I like. I really don't care about categories. If I like it, I go with it. Bulgari Blue is a great example of that one. So I, I'm going to I'm talking more about the top notes because that is really what uh, steals the show here. It does pick up later, and you get cedar, vetiver, and uh, leather. So so here's what I think is happening. Besides the, what the parfum had in mind, here's the overall effect. So you might be asking, what does it smell like? So it smells to me like, I want you to imagine a guy going to a gym. After that, he takes a shower, uh, puts this on, and then gets into his Bentley. All right, no, all right, whatever. He gets into a luxury car, probably a Bentley. He picks you up to go out for the night. And so what you, when you get into the car, what you feel is two things. What you smell is two things. You smell, number one, this, this, this very masculine bar of soap, shower gel, uh, almost aftershave, almost feel to it, mixed with brand new leather. So I think that's what he was aiming for, and that's how he took Chrome Sport, added leather to it to give it the car motif, wink, wink, and that's what the overall effect is. Who knows if I'm right? I have no idea, but that's my take on it. And I feel like that's why he put in an infusion in the base notes of leather. Uh, smells incredibly nice. I, I, in fact, it got, I think the average rating was like four out of five. That's quite high on Fragrantica uh, overall. It, you, you would find very few people who would outright dislike this unless they detest the shower gel type colognes. So, uh, uh, and let me just say price point, it is a cheapie. It is an absolutely fantastic deal. And one reviewer or one commenter on Fragrantica said he got it on at Burlington Co. Factory for $10, 100 milliliter, 3.4 ounce. Doesn't get much better than that. Most prices are between 10 and 30 American U or US dollars. Uh, so again, eh, certainly doesn't really get much better. It is a cheapie. Uh, it's not the most original smelling in the world, but it, it will garner compliments and and it certainly stands on its own in terms of fantastic smell. Okay, so let's get to the longevity projection in Siage. Some bad news here, so we should should we should get our inner Eeyore out. Um, I will say, when it comes to longevity, I, I just didn't get 
easily more than six. And so I'll say it's four to six hour range. And for me, it was really closer to four. Um, I don't want to say two to four. I don't think that's fair. Uh, but wow. Uh, for me personally, I got four to six. Uh, and it was it was much much closer to four, especially if you're walking in and out and, uh, of the uh, if you're going outdoors at all, uh, it will really uh, disappear. So for those of you who spray only on your skin, this would be something that you would need to um, up, reapply throughout the day. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, I like to get an eight hour work shift, as you know. I certainly didn't get that. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but I mean, you know, for what? If you get it, for, if you got it at Burlington Coat Factory. For for ten dollars, spray away, my friends. So that is the uh, longevity projection. is quite is very very good. Arm's length for the first hour, and then it does start to really uh, settle down and get close, very very close to the skin. Me personally, if I wore this, uh, I would uh, put this on my clothes as well. Um, I did that yesterday, and I was able to get out another hour and a half or so. So um, if you if you want to try to get to the six hour mark, I would say put put the spray on your clothes. Siage was okay. Siage is is was I wouldn't call it moderate. I'd put slightly less. Uh, if you wore this, uh, and you're, you know, it took you an hour and a half, two hours to get to the party, and then you're coming in other rooms. I don't know that you would get uh, compliments just because you, people might not pick it up. So that was a little bit of a bummer. Uh, but I mean, you can always, some people just don't care and they just will keep on spraying. Uh, you could keep this in your office if you wanted to and just spray every three or four hours or, or you could even um, spray it right in the, car, in the car. You could spray it in your Bentley right before you enter the party. You see, you see, I've cracked the code yet again. So uh, when it comes to uh, gender, this is, a, this is an after shower masculine fragrance. You're going to see probably, um, I would even say, actually, I'm going to say 80-20 and I'll tell you why. Uh, and uh, in fact, I'll just tell you now. Uh, my, so I'm on the fence whether or not I'm going to keep this one. Brian was very clear. He said he sent me four bottles, and he said, uh, you know, don't if, if you want to get rid of one, you want to give it away, not a problem. I just wanted you to review these, enjoy these, and do whatever you want with them. Very kind of him to do that. Um, this quite possibly will end up being a gift from Santa Claus uh, to uh, my daughter because she really, really likes this one. So I'm going to say 80-20, but she's an example of the 20. It is traditionally and marketed towards uh, a quite masculine fragrance. So we'll say 80-20, 80% um, 80 masculine, 20%, 80% uh, of the people who are owning it are men, excuse me, and 20% are women in my estimation. Uh, on the continuum, I would say I would put it in the right in the so if we've got feminine, unisex, and then ultra masculine, I would put it right here, spot on as deep in the heart of masculinity. So when it comes to age, just like the Ford, obviously some people will buy this because of the car. Some people will buy this because they enjoy having fragrances by car companies and a connection to Bentley. Other people are going to buy this because, again, of the no, of the nod uh, to Hugo Boss uh, of of times past, uh, where freshies were the uh, dominant fragrance, um, and so you might see some also that would be uh, thirty five and up. I would say for uh, on the guy side, and then again, this is another. You know, it's it's another. The, the shower gel fragrances always do exceedingly well with the high schoolers and the kind of first fragrance. And, you know, so this does have another one of the, I just got my, my braces off and then I got my car license and I'm going to go out on my first date. So this is a, a, another one that would be fine for a lot of 16 year olds, uh, stocking stuffers for the teenagers. So there are kind of three target audiences. So just like the Ford Mustang performance, very, very versatile fragrance. You will love this one with the one exception again is if you do have a nuanced nose and, and you are in the hobby and you have been for a long time and you have a ton of niche and, and the shower gel fragrances just don't do it for you, it wouldn't make the cut, of course. So you are, you're not the target audience for that. The other concern I have about this fragrance is because it is such a competitive uh, area, 
the, 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 the shower gel fragrances are cranked out all the time and they're wildly popular. So it's a very competitive market. I am a, I am a little worried that this one might not get make the cut in the sense that it it doesn't ne- it doesn't necessarily stand out enough to make a lot of people gravitate to this over something else. For example, for the same amount of money, I would actually just get Chrome test a tester of Chrome you can get for around twenty five dollars and and uh, of course I prefer that I like Chrome Sport a lot um, who doesn't like Hugo uh, it's a very well done green apple probably the best green apple fragrance uh, in the biz so that would be my one concern that 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 it doesn't have the wow factor to it it smells nice it smells fantastic it would definitely make my cheapy list and it would definitely be in the gift giving category. Because uh, for for teenagers or for uh, the 35 and up uh, generation Xers, millennials possibly and on up uh, for those of you us who like the uh, the freshies from times earlier. So so that that that's the fragrance there. Now when it comes to seasons, I think we're fine uh, in saying that this is going to be uh, the heart of winter. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, this of, of course is a hotter weather fragrance this is perfect for summer and spring and then of course fall and winter might not uh, really work out because again it's 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 it has a very bright uh, the with the with the grapefruit and the green apple it has a very fresh bright approach in the top notes so it's perfect for spring and summer okay so versatility again is going to be pretty much off the charts and a fantastic deal for the money. I guess if I were a suit and tie situation, you know, so if this were, let's say if this were a uh, a wedding reception outside in June, I don't know that I would reach for this. If it's outdoors, because as you guys know, I've mentioned before, I do a ton of walking, so I'm coming in and out uh, throughout the day. And it did, it did affect the longevity and projection on this fragrance. So quite frankly, that would be the one thing. It would have to be an indoor party for me. Um, so so if it were like a barbecue, um, some sort of cookout, uh, wedding reception, I don't know that I would reach for that. If it were a wedding reception, a, a wedding inside a church in June, uh, and I'm walking from my car straight into the church, uh, then I would reach for something uh, like this. Okay, so with that being said, what is my final rating? This is going to be a three out of five sprays for me. I have to give it props because for the price point, it it doesn't get too much better. Uh, Excellent, cheapy, wonderful, gift-giving, stocking stuffer. That said, uh, one concern I have is what I mentioned earlier. In a market full of, of shower gel freshies, um, this one doesn't necessarily stand out. That said, I really do like the attempt here because I like what the Perfume I think is doing, which is taking a freshy, just got out of the gym, took a shower, put on this fantastic smelling fragrance, uh, and then I got in my car, probably a Bentley. And so it's a combination of, of luxury leather. It's not a cheap leather. It's a luxury leather and the base notes, and they come up after the initial blast, which is very, very, very fresh. Uh, and and uh, and clean and crisp and so that's why I think he is taking uh, the DNA from Chrome Sport and working with that uh, to create a connection to the car industry. All right, folks, there you have it. That is Bentley Momentum Unlimited. I'm feeling pretty good in saying that this will uh, stay in this house because I think it's going to be uh, a gift from Santa Claus to my daughter because I mentioned I might, might uh, be giving this one away uh, and she said that she absolutely wants it. So uh, there you have it. Three out of five sprays for this 2018 Woody Aromatic by Bentley. And thank you again, Brian. I really appreciate that. Uh, Incredibly kind of you. And uh, here we go. I'm going to go one on each side of the neck. And because this one has some problems again with longevity, uh, I'm going to go one on the center of the chest for uh, on my clothes instead of the wrists. All right. So we're going to go three out of five. Here we go. Boom. Boom, and boom. 
All right, there you have it, folks. Another review by the boards. Always remember, fragrance marks the celebration of today. <laughs> Take care, everybody. <laughs>